Hi guys, so today's Monday. I know, long time no vlog. We haven't vlogged in months um, just because we haven't left the house in months because I don't trust to leave this house even though we're actually finally going home to Montgomery tomorrow because I really miss my family. Yeah, I just need to have a change of scenery. Uh, my mom and my stepdad, uh, they finally are done getting their house built so they've been moved in for months now and I really want to be at home to help my mom decorate. She sends us pictures here and there and it's going to be way easier if we're there to help her decorate because we can like actually be in the rooms and see what um, how much space we have and like see what will look good in each room. Yeah we'll probably uh, vlog some of that when we go home because y'all know Kendra and I think we're interior decorators. Even though I think we do a pretty good job, that's like my second passion next to like hair and fashion. I love looking at furniture and decor pieces. Yeah, I'm just happy for them. They've been wanting to build this house for over 10 years, probably longer than that. Yeah, they've been wanting to build this house for a long time. I know I look crazy, I just woke up y'all, so my eyes are kind of like puffy, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy for them. I'm not doing a house tour of my mother's house because it's not my house and yeah, I'm just not doing a house tour. Somebody asked me that um, on Instagram because a few of you guys do follow my mom on Instagram and I just feel like that would be weird because it's technically, it's my family's house, but it's not my house. By the way, how cute is this sports bra? It's from Gymshark. It's super cute. But right now I'm about to open some packages uh, because these have been sitting at the door for like over a month now um just because i like to wait just to get a bunch of packages and open them all at once it's more fun for me versus opening like a package here a package there so that's what i'm gonna do i'm only gonna open half of these though and leave the other half for kendra because i will be sitting here all day opening packages by the way i have a scratch on my forehead y'all probably can't even see it but it hurts so bad i think i scratched myself in my sleep last night because my real nails are so much sharper I forgot how deadly real nails are like I used to always scratch like um like in grade school like I used to scratch a boy he would be like trying to mess with me or something so these used to be weapons back in the day but I forgot how sharp they were and I was wondering why my forehead was like stinging when I was washing my face this morning because I have a scratch on my forehead oh okay so this first package is from pattern a few people had already been messaging me on Instagram asking if Kendra and I were reviewing these styling products. And I was going to order them online, but good thing I did not because we had this package. Here's the box with everything in it. Okay, so the first thing is this curl gel. Shine, define, and hold. Might look like something I might like. I like how big this packaging is, by the way. Um, next is edge control. Hopefully I like it because I'm super picky when it comes to edge control. Hmm. Doesn't really have that much of a smell. And the next product is this styling cream, which I will be partaking in because y'all know I'm a style, like a styling cream girl. Like I prefer creams over gels. Kendra is more of a gel girl. I'll use gels, but not as much as she does. But I do have gel in my hair now. I do have gel today in my hair. Um, my roots are still kind of damp because I did my hair yesterday, but turned out cute. I have curls gel in my hair right now. The green one, like the extra hold style gel. Oh, and then this is the gel. I wonder how they work together. I'm curious. But Kendra probably want to try this gel. When we do the demo, I'll probably try the cream on camera and then Kendra will probably try the gel on camera. Even though I really want to try this too. I, I can try it after, but for the sake of the video, she'll try the gel. And then this is the Hydrating Mist. Revive and Replenish. So this is like a refresher. I'm guessing like a, um, like a refresher, like a style refresher. Ooh, it sounds thicker too. Because most, like the key to a good style refresher is it not having too much water in it. Like you want it to have water in it, but not too much. You want it to have some kind of holding agents in it otherwise it's just gonna kind of like make your hair kind of like frizzy all over again unless you're trying to like reactivate what's already in your hair but by the time i'm refreshing my curls i want something in the refresher that's gonna also kind of rehold them too Ooh, they have a white tooth comb so this kind of looks like the one that i've been using for years that my grandma gave me years ago 
because my grandmother was a hairstylist for oh lord longer than i've been alive she was doing hair for over 40 years and she used to always come home with different tools and i still have one of the combs that she gave me oh it kind of looks like this this one is like more rubbery though this one feels like more rubbery oh this is gonna be great for detangling because I, I mostly use my fingers, but sometimes I'll have not a lot of time and I need a wide tooth comb. I'm gonna come with this little, little package thing, little bag. I love the detail. Okay, turn and see. And then here we have a edge tool. It's like a little toothbrush. Like It looks like a toothbrush, but it's an edge brush. I have an edge brush. I always reach for the toothbrush that I use. So, we'll see how that is. I'm not gonna open it. And then this pick. I usually don't pick my curls because every time I pick them, if they fall right back down anyway. Cause I've gotten that question before, like why don't you pick your hair like after it dries? Because my hair falls right back down when I pick it. So the next package is from Maui Moisture. They have pretty good products. Well, from what I've tried over the past few years line is this because i've been using the, their our pulley line the shampoo and conditioner i've used it a couple times um through the summer uh, this is a coconut milk weightless oil mist so it's like a shine spray well this would be good to keep in my car I like a good shine spray we have oh this is their shea butter shampoo and conditioner do we have this I can't remember if we have this or not. Probably. Shea butter shampoo and conditioner. We well, got a body wash. Extra hydrating plus shea butter body wash for severely dry skin. Yes, please. Y'all know I'm obsessed with body products. Like I need to spend any more time in the shower. Okay, um, and then we have a hair mask and a curl smoothie, coconut oil curl smoothie. Oh, excuse the stuff behind me. Um, we're gonna take that home. Look at these cute little notebooks for Kylie. This is from the brand Coco Crew by Julian Davis. How cute are these? So they are like perfect for her to like write in. These are so cute. So yeah, gonna give those to Kylie when we go home. Okay, what is this from? I think this is from Fresh. They usually have like the cutest packaging. All right, what is in here? Okay, this is their the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. This looks interesting. It looks like an essence. Like you just shake it up and like put it in your hand, maybe. It's oil infused though. I don't know if my skin's gonna like that too much. Because if I use oil, I like to use a concentrated oil, like you know, like rose hip seed oil or C B D face oil. I'm actually gonna do a, a like whole video on like my favorite face oils. Um, Cause a few people were confused about like what oil should they use if they have oily skin. So I can definitely do a video for you guys on that. Cause we've already pre-filmed the videos that are going up while we're away. And then this is their Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This probably will work great on my neck. Cause my face is so sensitive that I can't really use a lot of things with fragrance in them. And Fresh, um, they normally have a lot of fragrance. And this is their Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Ooh, this is probably nice. This is a big jar. Yeah, this kind of a strong, strong scent, but I'm gonna use it on my neck anyway. Cause I already have, oops, just spilled some of it. Cause I already have a, um, a face cream that I'm using now. And that's another key to keeping your skin clear. You can't really switch your products out too often. Like you need, if you're using something, you need to like stick with using it for a few months. Cause if you like keep changing your products like every week and every month, your skin's gonna be like, what are you doing? I'm definitely gonna enjoy this lip cream. I love lip products. It's like an obsession. It's first aid beauty. We've never gotten a package from First Day Beauty. Why is it so bright? Is that better? Yeah, that looks more, yeah. 
realistic of how it actually looks in here. It's way too bright before. Okay, so got something for first day of beauty. Let's see what's in here. This is a big damn y'all. I will be giving a lot of this away because we cannot possibly use all of this. Y'all. So I'm not gonna go through everything in here, but I've heard a lot of good things about um, their products. I've only ever used some toning pads from them, but I haven't tried anything else. Um, again, yeah, it's a cleanser, pure skin cleanser, ultra repair hydrating serum. I wanna try that cleanser though. So yeah, I think this is what I've tried from them. These are the facial radiance pads, help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. Mattifying and hydrate, oil control moisturizer. Okay, like I said, I'm not going through all this, but I'm like trying to see what's all in here. Ultra repair cream. Intense hydration skin protectant. Ooh, this might be nice to keep like by my um, nightstand. I'm literally keeping like two things out of this whole bag because I don't, I can't use all of this. But everything else I'm giving away. Um, so it's like moisturizers in here, sunscreens, face masks, and toner so if you use first aid beauty and you don't want to buy products for a while then let me know message me but you have to show me that you already use their products and if you do i'll probably send you some of this stuff Got another box from fresh and their cute dainty packaging so dang they have a huge soy face cleanser i already used this i have so many like many sizes of this but this is the big one and a pump that's convenient and then this is their sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash hmm wonder if it's like kind of abrasive or not well, and then they put this cute scrunchie in here hi guys so greetings from the fridge so i'm gonna make some turkey bacon for kelsey and i for breakfast um no i don't want to do that sausage kelsey always makes chicken sausage and i'm not really good at making the chicken sausage just because i hate waiting on it um so i'm gonna do turkey bacon and i think some of this yogurt this is my favorite yogurt by the way it's amazing so this is the kite heel plant-based vanilla almond yogurt it's dairy free so if you guys are looking for if it'll focus okay if you're looking for a dairy free yogurt this one is bomb i usually have it with either blueberries or uh peaches which is my personal favorite. I love peaches. So I'm gonna have that and some tea. The only thing I hate about this yogurt, we have another one right here. It goes so fast that we always have to buy like two at a time. So I wish they made this container bigger. Kelsey also loves this one right here. So this is the So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk. This one makes my stomach hurt. I don't know why. So yeah, it's like my stomach is sensitive to this one. So. Not gonna have that. So I ran out of peaches, so I had to use grapes because that's all we really have left. The only blueberries we have are frozen and that's not gonna be fine for my teeth. So yeah, that's my breakfast. Hi guys, so today's Wednesday and Kelsey and I are back home in Atlanta. Uh, we're not in Montgomery anymore because we had to cut our Montgomery trip short and basically my mom's house got struck by lightning and yeah, it was really scary and traumatizing and it doesn't even feel like it happened exactly a week ago today, it happened last Wednesday and I'm still a little like now when it rains here i get a little anxiety like yeah. when i hear thunder mm -hmm. so that was like that felt like a one in a million chance i never thought i would experience something like that like when we came to my mom's house last wednesday we were not even in the house for an hour yet yeah it was like 30 minutes we had been there she was like showing us around the house and stuff yeah because this is the first time we had seen the house finally completely finished mm -hmm. like being built she was showing us around the house and we were in one of the closets me and my mom uh kylie and kendra mm -hmm. and right when we were about to walk out of the closet we heard this big boom 
Yes. It sounded like a bomb. It sounded like a bomb. Yes. It was so loud. My ears were ringing for like a good 40 minutes right after it happened because it yes. was so loud. So at this point, we thought it was like uh, what tornado mom said. At first I thought it was a tornado because like the ceiling started falling in and it was like a bunch of debris and stuff. Yes. And then it was smoke everywhere. Yeah. A lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. And keep in mind, I was still in shock. I'm like standing there super scared and yeah. our stepdad like ran over to us and told us, get back in the closet, get back in the closet. Yeah. Because he thought, like my mom thought that, that it was a tornado. tornado at first. Yeah. So I, I'm terrified. I'm like, this is, this is me and then this is the... The light where the lightning hit. I was like two feet away from it. Yeah, that was so close. That was God right. So I was like, thank you, God, for protecting me. Yeah. Because that could have been so much worse. Yeah. Like one God of us, protected all of all us. All of us. Like you were right next to it. Yeah. But that's why I was so loud because it happened so close to us. When we uh got ready to run out of the house, we ran out of the house because the lightning when the lightning struck, some of the house caught on fire. Mm -hmm. Like the roof. Yeah. And my stepdad was like, the house is on fire, the house is on fire, get out. So we all ran out of the house. Kylie's crying. Yes. My mom, she's looking for her car keys. <laughs> I was like, mom, yes. come on, let's go. So everybody was just trying to like, basically back out of the driveway. Yes. Get all the cars away from the house. In my mind, I'm not going to lie, I thought the house was about to blow up. I did too. Like, that's how scary it felt. I yeah. felt like we didn't have enough time to get out of the house. Yeah. My mom kept scaring me. She was running around getting her personables. She was trying to get her laptop. I was like, Mama, let's go. I was so freaked out the whole time. I was just anxious. We didn't have no shoes on, running in the rain, barefoot. Yep. Like, and then uh, the police um, showed up. Firefighters. And then the firefighters showed up. It was like two firefighter trucks. And then the news station pulled up. Yeah. My mama was like, is that the news guy? I was like, yes, Mama. Do not let this man film your house. Then her house ended up being on the news anyway. That's it was a hot I was like, this is your property. You could have told him to like get off your property. So that's yeah. what I would have did. Yeah. I would have been like, please don't film my house. Get off my that, property. Uh, the neighbors came over. One of the neighbors. She was really nice with her kids. Her kids heard it from inside their house. Yeah. Yes. This and is how loud like, it was acres and acres away from my mom and my stepdad's house yeah so if they heard it from inside of their house that tells you tells you how loud it was mm -hmm. um in the house right next right to next us. to us so the first crazy. like i think like the first two nights me kelsey my mom and kylie stayed in a hotel my stepdad said he was not leaving his house yeah so he didn't even sleep at all the first night because mm -hmm. it was uh, it, uh it's a big like hole in the the sit of the roof of their house yeah um so but we ended up coming back to the house after they finally like put like a little tarp over it yeah um, i was not staying in the hotel that much longer no because this is not a good time to be in hotels mm -mm, it's not covid is still very much alive people yes it's in the air <laughs> it's in the air literally it was just insane like i still cannot believe it happened but it was really eye-opening i feel very like opening like yeah. that are supposed to happen to make you see who god is like yeah. i felt like so much closer to him like obviously i was already close to him before but yeah. i feel like that just like put it on another level because he was looking out definitely yeah. like he that could have happened any other way but it happened exactly the way it was supposed to and god is so good y'all like when i tell y'all like he really be looking out like you could easily look at the situation for what it is like the way it happened but you can like flip it around and look at it for a more positive yeah experience mm -hmm. and like i was so grateful in that moment that everybody was okay nobody was yeah because it could have been way worse yeah we could have had somebody go to the emergency room like anything else could have happened that did not happen so i'm super grateful for that i'm super grateful that i still have my family and we're just super blessed so definitely um their house is going to be back like new in a couple of months so it is what it is at this point yeah it's so like a month and a half It'll yeah a month and a half tomorrow. i think so too and then we can go back and decorate <laughs> like we were yeah like i told y'all we were planning to do before yeah. we left we were supposed to help with the guest bedrooms mm -hmm. help her decorate those because i had a ton of ideas mm -hmm. guys still got our back as always yes so yeah that was our crazy little story time like well not little because it was a big thing that happened yeah it was a little, a little dramatic yeah you said you was traumatized yes now. i was <laughs> i talked to my mom yesterday and she was like y'all happy to be back home and i was like ain't gonna lie yeah because <laughs> it was just like so much going on in my girl and i was just like i just need to take my ass back down let me just go back and start fresh because yeah yeah 
But uh, the whole time, uh, we were actually at first, briefly, I thought about coming back home the same day because we weren't able to like stay in the house. So I was like, what are we supposed to do? But then like Kelsey looked at my mom and she was like, Kel Kendra, we can't leave. I was like, I'm like, not. Mama. I was like, I'm like, not. I saw how sad she was and I'm like, yeah, you're right. I was like, I'm not leaving my mama like this. Yeah. She looked sad. She needed us. She looked like she she just looked up like disappointed honestly because yeah. they hadn't even been in their house like three what? months they had only been in the house what i think like three months yeah so for this to happen to their brand new beautiful home it was just like you know i just felt bad so i was like i'm staying yeah and i we were just there for emotional support from my mom and to help her with anything she needed yeah help her clean the house for the parts that they were able to like still stay in yeah so but like I said, everybody's safe. Today we're actually uh, on our way to Stone Mountain. We're going to do a little hike. We actually we've lived in Georgia for what eight years, nine years. It's been it's been almost a decade. We've been in Atlanta for almost a decade, and we've never been to Stone Mountain. So we're going today because we're going to get some fresh air. Yes. Uh, and get a little sweat in because it is hot outside. It's already 90 degrees and it's still morning. Oh, so yeah, it's hot. It's probably going to be even more hot once we get there. But hopefully it's not that bad because, you know, I'm not a fan of, you know, heat and sweating like that. It's not yeah. getting outdoors. I know. I just want to do something different today. So that's why we're going on a hike. So, yeah. Taking our first break. It didn't take us that long to get here like up the first incline this is the actual mountain part we're working up but i can already see a view over there much to the top like it's one more like area up there that we could have walked but this is good enough because the view is so pretty beautiful and I'm hot so and we're sweaty so that's that was the goal mm -hmm. <laughs> to get a good sweat in and to get a good glute workout in because my butt was burning on the way up here yeah. sorry this lighting sucks the sun is behind us but that's the way we wanted it um but it was these group of kids who were on the way up here that were so annoying like because we were trying to wait because it was another like another rest area at the bottom and we were trying to wait until they like went ahead of us because of course trying to social distance and right when we went they went right behind us like because because uh, if you've ever been to stone mountain it's this like really like narrow area you go up before you get to like this top area and they were right behind us it was so annoying a little too close for comfort way too close for comfort i'm like go away this is why i want to live in a bubble but it feels so good up the here breeze. like the higher we go the better the breezy is so hi guys so we're back in the car got our sweat on that was really hard but very liberating at the same time so yeah it was um we're on our way to clean juice because kelsey really wants the juice so i'm just gonna get one because she's already going so might as well get one too yeah um, we don't have to go in so uh, and we don't have to go in yeah they have curbside pickup that's convenient and i'm so sweaty right now you guys can probably see how sweaty i am but that was a great hike so we're gonna start doing that once a week so i think it's gonna be like a good little sweat session Okay guys, so I'm about to uh, have some dinner and I just wanted to briefly show you guys like like this dinner that I've been doing. It's like super quick and easy and I'm always craving it. It's so good. But this is the salad mix that I like to use. This is from Taylor Farms and this is the sweet kale one. It's so good. Uh, this is the chopped kit. Um, you can get it from, well, we get ours from Publix. So normally I do half of the bag, uh, but tonight Kendra made um, two pieces of salmon because we normally would do like we would split the bag of salad and then we would split a piece of salmon. But 
much. I'm just gonna have to have a wholesale it tonight because the ratio is gonna be off if I don't, so. So I just do like the seeds and the poppy seeds and like the cranberries first. So you're gonna need like a pretty big bowl for this because it's a big salad. I can eat a whole salad uh, if this is like the only dinner I'm having. It's different if you're making a side salad, but this is like my whole entire dinner. So um, I don't do the full thing of dressing because it is kind of sweet. And I personally don't like a lot of salad dressing on my salad. Let me know if y'all like that too. Like I don't like salad with my dressing. I like dressing with my salad. That's just, I hate when it's like overkill. So I only do half and then the rest I just save. Then I go ahead and toss it, like mix everything together. So normally I would do like half a piece of salmon, but like I said, since Kendra went ahead and made two pieces, I'll just do the whole thing. So add your salmon on top. So bomb. Okay. So you can leave it like this, but I like to mash my salmon up and mix it with the salad. So then you have a sweet kale salmon salad and it's so bomb. It's so good. It kind of tastes like my favorite salad at Houston's, but I usually get that salad with chicken and this is pretty, pretty close to it. Yeah, it's bomb. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So it is Thursday and I think I'm gonna show you guys how I do my nails today because I feel like they're starting to look decent because before they were just really thin and chipping and breaking off really easily so they're a lot healthier than they were so i'm going to show you what i've been using all the nail things i'm not a nail tech by any means so just remember i said that but i'm just showing you guys what i've been doing and also some of the stuff that kelsey's been using some of the things haven't worked for her and then other ones have so i'm just going to show you everything that i've been using because I have not stepped foot in a nail salon in about three and a half months. Restaurants either, like Kelsey and I have been literally doing everything ourselves, cooking, doing our nails, because I just feel like it's safer right now. I don't know if that's just me. Like every time I'm on Instagram and I see people eating inside of a restaurant, I just cringe. I just don't understand the concept of the staff wearing face masks, but then the people are sitting at tables. They have to eat, so they can't wear a face mask while they eat. So I'm just confused about that. Also, please excuse my hair because this wash and go did not turn out the way that I intended to. I should have prayed over it. It didn't work out too well. I also just woke up so my voice sounds a little like a morning voice. That, that's why. I'm gonna show you guys the nail stuff, like I said. And I think later Kelsey and I are gonna go to clean juice again. Just because I feel like it's good just to get out of the house a couple times a week. They have curbside pickup. Um, I briefly mentioned that yesterday, but I don't know if we kept that clip in the vlog because the camera died after our hike yesterday. So I don't even know if I kept that clip. But we're gonna go to Clean Juice. We've been getting like um, green juice, our favorite avocado toast. That's literally the first outing that we've been to as far as like food um, since the pandemic started. But we still even eat that in the car and they bring it out to us. So haven't even gone in there. And also I need to, you know, get my car out of the garage every once in a while also because last week, I think the Monday before the Wednesday that we left to go to Montgomery last week, I hope that makes sense. My car would not start. It was my battery and then the computer in my car needed an update. So I was so scared. I had to get call AAA to come pick it up and tow it to the dealership to get fixed because it's still under warranty and thank God I did not have to pay a dime and my car Good as new, but I need to remember to at least crank it up twice a week. The guy said, I'm not good with car maintenance. I just get the oil change and I put gas in it and I will take it to get washed, but I'm not like a car genius. But I'm kind of glad it happened because now I know 
I'm more aware of that now, so. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. This is actually the way I like to eat it, minus the bananas. The bananas are the first time that I'm trying them. It's the first time I'm trying this yogurt with bananas, but I usually always have it with the peaches because that's the best way to eat it. Not with the grapes like I had last time. I was just improvising because we were out of groceries. But this is how I like it with the peaches, but I think it's gonna be also really good with bananas. You can add granola if you want, but but I'm not really in a granola mood today, so this is what I'm having. Okay, so this is our little, well not little, but this is our nail box that we use. I just use this House of CB box to put it in just because it fit everything perfectly and it's a really pretty box. So I didn't want to throw it away because I knew it would come in handy for something. So these are all of our nail goodies that we've accumulated over the past couple of months. I'm going to start with like tools and stuff. So this is, let me move the plug out of the way. This is our LED light. All this stuff is by Amazon, by the way. So it's just quicker to say just Amazon instead of saying each thing like where it's from. So this is from Amazon. It works really well. We use gel polishes. Um, so that's our way of doing our nails. We use gel. So this was a pretty affordable. I don't remember the exact price, but it was not expensive. So I love this LED light. Um, this is just a towel that we like to put down so we don't make a mess. This is our little drill that came in uh, really good handy in the beginning when we were trying to get off that, um, the shellac, uh, not shellac, but the SNS that we had before the pandemic started. So this is a really nice drill. We don't always need that though. So yeah. And then this I got, I don't know what else to get as far as like a gel set or what was good to use with the LED light and this kept coming up. So this is the Infinite Shine. It's a primer and then a gloss top coat. So the middle, co middle color is supposed to be the color that you pick that you want to wear, like the actual color on your nails. And then the first is like a base coat and then that's a top coat. Love this, gets the job done. We have some nail files here and then a few colors. So these are the first, nope, I'm lying. These two OPI ones. So these are the first two colors that I bought. This will just focus, that would be nice. Okay, these are the first, first two colors I got. So the white one we use on our toes. And I think this is Funny Bunny, yes, this is Funny Bunny. I used to actually get this exact color at the nail place, uh, the white. So I use this on my toes, I love white toes. I feel weird when I don't have my toes painted white. I just feel like it looks clean and just really put together. So that's what I use on my toes. And then this red, I don't think I've even used this yet. I had it here just in case I was feeling, you know, different that day and I wanted to do red nails. If you guys know me, that's literally the only bright color I will do when I want to do something different. I'll just go for red nails. So I chose this color. It was um, kept coming up underneath of the other OPI colors. It's called Coca-Cola Red. So love this, it's very bright. Kind of has like an orange undertone, not too orangey though. These are from a gel company called, what is that? PG, so pink black. So most of these, uh, this brand is pretty known for like their pink shades and we've been loving these two colors. This one is called Blush Orange. And then this darker one is called, what is this? Vintage Nude, yeah, Vintage Nude. So these are both really pretty and simple. And then these colors I just recently got in the mail. I ordered them a while back and I think they were on back order. So I just got them in like two days ago. They're from a brand called Born Pretty. I have not tried any of these yet. I think I'm going to use one today. Uh, they are all like pinky nude shades. They came in a set actually. So I'm excited to see how they, um, what kind of formula it is, like the quality. But from the pictures, I got them um, intentionally because... They all look sheer because I haven't really been into the super opaque nail look. So I like like a more sheer kind of gel color and all these look pretty sheer. So I'm gonna use these um, when I want that look. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you guys all of like my nail health things that I started using before I even did like gel nails on myself. I didn't want to paint over them until I got them to a place where I felt comfortable as far as the health of them and growing them out. Like this was my, you know, kind of, I guess you can say nail routine. So love this OPI Nail Envy uh, Nail Strengthener. This is a really good product if you guys are looking for a good nail strengthener. I was using this like every single day 
and sometimes I still use it when I'm not wearing like an actual color on my nails. So this is really good. You can get this pretty much anywhere where you can find OPI polishes. And I have it on my nightstand, so I use it often. And then this product did not work that well for Kelsey, but worked really well for me. So it's called Rejuvicote. It's basically a nail growth system. Um, you put, um, you paint your nails with this, like I think like five days in a row, and then you take it off and then you do it for another five days. It's supposed to help your nails grow back faster. And this did really well on my nails, but for some reason it made Kelsey's nails feel like really tender and weird like it stung on her nails so i don't know if she had like a an allergic reaction i don't know what it was but this worked really well for me so you can try at your own risk uh i love this these two on the other hand work really well for kelsey they are from the brand nails inc i got these two from sephora uh, all the other nail things are from amazon but these two in particular are from sephora they had silver tops on them but they kept popping off so i just threw them away because they were annoying me so the green one is a base coat it's called nail kale base coat and i love this so good for your nails it's like a nourishing kind of treatment for your nails i'm sure it's a strengthener like the opi one but i just like the fact that it you know has kale in it or not i just like the idea of it it was a pretty good idea if it's not kale in it it does work really well on your nails so I, I also saw a difference using this on my nails so i love this and then this top coat is really cool this is a retinol top coat and it's a speedy gloss and it's a speed top coat which means it dries really fast it's a 45 second top coat and it has retinol in it Yes, it says top coat hardening retinol. So I think that's really cool that it has that in it. And uh, this has also been like a part of my routine. So so I'll use these two together or I'll use these two together. I don't use all four at once. I'll just alternate. So one week I'll use these and then another week I'll use those. When I don't want to do like an actual color that like that I just showed you guys. So I've actually been using these more because I haven't always been wanting to wear a color. I just like just how my natural nails have been looking. And then last but not least, is this wonderful, magical cuticle oil. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is huge, first of all, so it's gonna last forever. It's from a brand, what is this, Kukio? Kuko? I don't know, but it's a cuticle oil, revitalizing cuticle oil. It's really, really nice. Has milk and honey, I love it. It has like a nice, soft, sweet smell to it, but it's not super strong really good product though so if you guys are looking for a cuticle oil this is a really good one uh, if you guys watched our amazon impulse buys we bought this like a couple of months ago so i've had this pretty much almost the whole pandemic and it's been working really really well so if you guys want to try any of these nail products let me know how you like them when you get them i will try to link all these in the description box if you guys want to check some of this nail stuff out so I think I'm gonna go with this color. Um, it's called Forever Wedding, or I think Flower Wedding. The words are really hard to read. Yes, really small. It's called Flower Wedding. And all these colors are from a set called the Strawberry Party Gel Series. So that's the name of these, like as a whole together, if you guys are curious about the name of it. But this one just looks kind of like a sheer, as you can see, a sheer pink kind of color. So we're gonna go with that, like a brighter sheer pink. I'm curious to see how this looks on the nails. Hopefully I like it. I'm sure I'll like it. They're all sheer, so it's hard not to like a sheer pink color because that's typically what I like. And usually if I had a color on my nails, a uh, gel has been really annoying when it comes to it lasting. That's why I haven't been wearing it that often. I haven't tried these colors yet. For me in particular, I just peel it off. But if it's hard to come off, you can use acetone uh, with some foil and i just cut them up like this and you can just use like a cotton ball or some form of cotton and put that on your nail then put on the acetone and then the foil wrap that around if you've gotten your nails done then you know this process so this is probably redundant to you but if you have not that's how you remove the polish if it hasn't already peeled off
lighting is not very good. I really like this color. So it's like a sheer pink. Uh, we're gonna see how long it lasts. I'm gonna put some cuticle oil on them, but I think they look really good. Uh, still sheer. I did three coats. I probably could have did two, but I wanted to see how the color would show up if I put on a third coat. And yeah, I like it. I need some lotion too. Yeah, I need some lotion. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other hand because I mean, you guys obviously saw how I did this hand, pretty simple. Usually I would file my nails before, but they're already filed the way I wanted them before I started. So yeah, I'm gonna do my other hand, add some cuticle oil and put some lotion on my hand. Okay guys, so we're at Clean Juice. Kelsey ordered our smoothie bowls. I'm trying a new one today that I haven't tried before. I always get the blueberry one. I forgot the name of that one. But it's, it's the, I think it's called the berry bowl. Yeah, it's called the berry bowl. I usually get that, but today I'm getting a green bowl. It's called the the green bowl. Is it? It says the green bowl. Oh, okay. The green, the green bowl. That's the name of it. So we're just waiting on that. That's gonna be my lunch for today. Oh, I got uh, one avocado toast so we can split it. Oh, you did. You can have one. I can have one. Oh, Kelsey also got avocado toast, so I'm gonna be really full. I'm hungry. I ain't ate since breakfast, so. Cause on the way I was like, I'm I'm kind of like extra hungry now. You are extra hungry? Yeah, a little bit. I didn't think I was that hungry. I'm glad you ordered two avocado toasts cause I probably wanted to eat no, both. No, I wanted to eat both. So, I got extra peppers. I can only eat avocado toast with a lot of pepper flakes on it. Mm -hmm. That's like the only way I can eat it. Yeah, me too. I don't like it plain. I don't either. Yeah. So I told I, them it's been a minute since we ate like out out. Oh yeah, it has. Like we haven't been inside a restaurant in a long time. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to eat, go out to eat for at least the like until next. But year. honestly, that's a good habit because going out to eat that add up. It's expensive and it's not the healthiest because you don't know what's in your food. That's very true. Like you're not the one making it, so you have more control when you make your own food. So. Yeah, eating at home has been very helpful. It's a little exhausting though. Yes, cooking every day is a lot. Yeah. But it's worth it because I know is. exactly what's going into my food. That's so true. And I kind of feel like a chef because I can like perfect the things I like. That's true. Because so. like looking at recipes on like Pinterest and stuff, it's like, it's kind of fun. Like I got a little bit of a tan yesterday at Stone Mountain. At Stone Mountain. I yeah, I'm a little that. dark. I feel like I've been to the beach because that's the only place I can get a tan right now is going to Stone Mountain because it's not safe to go to the beach down here no it's not because i think florida has like the highest covid cases the so most they have the most yeah yeah it's one of, of the most it's like it's gonna rain again i swear it rained every day in georgia no it's pretty over there but like look right there that one dark cloud oh. you don't see that mm -mm. you have glasses on you can't see it with those on that well but yeah cooking every day at first it was fun because we was like finding different recipes but now it's becoming exhausting. She said she was coming right out. She did? I just call, you have to call when you get here if you're doing curbside pickup. So, okay. yeah. This tree is so pretty. What are these? That's in our backyard. We just have a white one. Should I put my mask on when she comes? It's Duke, so fast. Why are you asking? Cause I've been put, putting mine on. Oh, uh, okay, cause I'm not getting out of the car. What if she's wearing one? They all are wearing one, but I still like to put mine on. Like the last two times I came, I had my mask on. Okay. When she came to the car just to be, I don't know, cause she was so, she's so close when she's giving you the food, so. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll do that. <sighs> of course we don't wear a mask when we're at Stone Mountain because I don't know who can work out in a mask, especially outside. It's yeah. very difficult mm -hmm. if you're doing cardio. Yeah, I don't think you have to when you're working out though. No, it's not mandatory. Not outside. Not outside, like you don't have to wear one if you're But I've seen people in the gym out. wearing them. Uh, well, I get that because yeah, you're I like in a confined enclosed, enclosed space. space not confined but well, enclosed. you're in a building but like outside like if you're exercising it's not mandatory and you're like in closer proximity with people at the gym yeah that's true I'm just not ready to go to the gym yet because of like the sweating and all the equipment touching and because I no, do that's too close mm -mm. but no. I do miss my Stairmaster this is though. enough right now this is the most I'll do right now that's a little much that's true I do Baby miss steps. my Stairmaster though I do too like I love the Stairmaster like because I get like my cardio in and like a little bit of strength training in at the same time because I wear ankle weights when I do the Stairmaster and I have like my sweatband on like um uh, like what's the name of the thing that we use around our waist sweatband yeah that sweatband. thing 
so I'm like getting everything done at once on the Stairmaster. So I love the Stairmaster. I prefer it over the treadmill. Me I don't personally. Mind the treadmill. Me personally. Because I like strength uh strength training. But I am feeling that hike today. Like my legs and my butt. I'm so sore from yesterday. Where you feel it most at? My butt and my legs are my, sore. My butt, my legs, and for some reason my, my ankles. Oh your ankles? Um Yes. You're um uh, probably was uh jumping off some hopping off some rocks yeah and like leaving. some of the how steep some of it was oh yeah it was kind of steep yeah yeah the hardest part is where the railings are that was the hardest part i have a question um wherever you guys live leave a comment down below and let me know if your city or state is still actually quarantining or on lockdown because i'm kind of confused it seems like people are kind of quarantining still but kind of not so i'm confused some people acting like it, there's no you know yeah like i've been seeing people go on like pandemic. ain't nothing wrong i'm so confused yeah they are like i'm a little lost i ain't gonna lie i'm like wait what yeah they are. are we still on lockdown or are we not because i'm going based off numbers same and there's no vaccine so i don't know what people yeah it's like as long as it's not a vaccine it's i don't think it's that safe to be out here like Nothing like it's not a on. pandemic. <laughs> yeah, like it's still a pandemic. Uh -huh. Ooh, this I bet you didn't put nothing. They should. You see what is up napkins? with them and napkins? That's so weird. Is that like a new COVID thing where they can't give you napkins? Because we had McDonald's. <laughs> I ain't been in a while, but I don't remember them ever giving nobody napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Frosted Flakes. Oh, yeah. That's regular granola and that's gluten-free granola it look like cereal yeah it do look like cereal i noticed that on the picture that they showed though i'm gonna eat it 